Hey YouTube, here's another tutorial by me, the Caitlin, or the Ukulele Whisperer. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you subscribe, subscribe, and uh, like, share. Anyway, um, today we got Wicked Game by Chris Isaac, so kind of a throwback song to the 80s. I was lucky enough to see Chris uh, Isaac a couple years ago in Reno with my parents. Reno, Nevada. Uh, yeah, he was really good live. He still got it. So, uh, yeah, this is my cover, or, sorry, not cover. This is my tutorial on uh, Wicked Game by Chris Isaac. Um, I interpreted, as always, I interpreted the music, and I wrote the tabs out. This time, I did the standard notation, and uh, threw a, one, like, some program online, and, um, so I did some program online, and uh, it might not be accurate, so please comment below if it's not accurate so other people will know not to read it. Uh, I hope it's accurate. Um, I read a little bit of it. Uh, I think it's right, but, you know, I'm no pro at it. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a ukulele whisperer. All right, anyway, so let's get into it. So for this song, we're going to start off with some slides. If you haven't done a slide before or you haven't seen another tutorial, just when you take your index finger or your ring finger, or sorry, or your middle finger, and you literally just slide it across the fretboard. And now uh, for this one, we're going to do it on the A string. And this is just the intro part. And we're going to do it from the second fret to the ninth fret and then back. So the second fret. So ninth fret, and then ninth fret back to the second fret, and slide again up from the second fret to the ninth fret on the A string. Next, we're gonna move down to the E string and do the fifth fret, third fret, second fret, open, and then it, and then we're gonna go another string. All right, so it sounds like this. So fifth fret. So literally, you go, um, you do it. So your fifth, your pinky fifth, uh, your middle on the third, 
or your ring finger on the third and your middle on the second. So, and then with your uh, index finger, you're gonna press down on the second fret of the C string and play that. And then you're gonna go back up to the E string and play the two and then open or zero. So if you see that, it's for if you're more advanced, this is really easy. You can skip ahead, but if you're a beginner, um, you know, you can replay this or whatever. And you want to like see up here with these little motions of just like how I'm moving it, how I just said. Enter from the top. Next, we're gonna get into the main riff of the song, like of Wicked Game. So that this is really exciting. So you're gonna make an E minor shape. For those of you that don't know what an E minor is off the top of your head, it is the G string is open, so you don't play it at all. For the C string, you have your you have your um you have your I, I don't know the names of my fingers apparently. You have your <laughs> ring finger on the fourth fret. Then you have your middle finger on the third fret of the, sorry, fourth finger of the C string, middle finger on E string, and pointer finger on the A string. Yes, yeah, so it's just the E minor shape. And first you're gonna play the fourth, right, uh, fourth fret. So you literally you go fourth, two, three, four. And then you're gonna play, you're gonna lift your index finger up and play the open A string. And then you're gonna go down and play the third string with your middle finger. And then slide your middle finger to the second fret of the E string. And then back down to the second fret of the C string. So all together, and then, sorry, I, I can't do it that slow. So all together, it sounds like this. Once again, E minor shape, so four, two, three, four. Open, release your index finger. Three, two, back down to the C string, two. Open E string back down to the second fret of the C string, and then you're gonna do um, this little part right that little that three note thing that I just did. It's gonna also be at the ending of some of the verses coming up. I alternate between that and another little three note thing. So you're gonna get your first finger and you're gonna just pluck it on the C string first fret and then you're gonna go down with your middle finger to the second fret of the C string and you're gonna do a slide from the second fret to the fourth fret so all together sounds like this so once again the main riff sounds like this all right so now we're getting into the verses that's the end of the intro on the chorus, see I have my notes right here. Woo. Um, <laughs> so the world was on fire and no one could save me but you. Um, so that sounds like this overall and then I'll go in uh, note by note. Okay, so open fret on E string. Second fret on Take in front of the E string with your middle finger, go up to the third fret, and then you're gonna slide from the third fret to the fifth fret. And then you're gonna hit the fifth again, and the third again. 
So. And then you're going to do the 6 and the 4 on the C string. And then you're going to do another slide of, I'm sorry, my notes are really tiny. I can't read. Okay, 2, 4. But the first verse sounds like this. Alright, so first verse. Second verse is, it's strange what desire will make pe foolish people do. It's a pretty similar to uh, what we just did, except there's a variation. Instead of the fifth fret, you're going to go up to the seventh. Because it's a little, if you listen to the song, it's a little higher when he sings. Um, so yeah. Open E string. Play the second fret of E string. Third fret, and then move up with your middle finger to the third fret of the E string, and then you're gonna slide another slide, middle finger, third fret, all the way up to the seventh fret. So it's gonna sound like this. And then you're gonna go back and play the seventh fret again of the E string, and then back down to the third, and then you're gonna do the whole six four combo. So that old chunk sounds like this. And then you're going to do a little pause, and then you're, that's when you do, remember how I just mentioned the three note thing? So this is where you do it. This is the three note thing. It's literally just uh, you're going to do your ring finger on the fifth fret of the E string, your middle finger on the third fret of the E string, and then open. So. So all together, that verse sounds like this. With me so far? Good. All right. Next is, I never dreamed that I'd meet somebody like you. So this one, you're going to move up to the A string. And you're going to go, because he sings up higher. I, I just talk because I can't sing. So yeah, you're welcome. I don't sing on YouTube. <laughs> okay, um, so you're going to play the 4th fret on the A string, and you're going to play that a couple times, you're going to play it 4 times, go down to the 2nd fret of the, like, just like that, and then you're going to go down to the 2nd fret of the A string, down to the 1st, to the 2nd, and you're going to slide from 2nd to 4th, so that sounds like this. Once again. Four times on the fourth fret of the A string. Second. First. Second. Slide up to the fourth. And then once again, there's a three note pattern, and it sounds like this. Sorry. There you go. Next verse is I never dreamed that I'd love somebody like you. Same exact concept, except when we do the three note pattern. We're not going to do the 5-3-0, 5-3-0, we're going to do the, the sliding like in the, in, like in the main riff of the song, 1-2-4. Alright, so it sounds like this, once again, you're going to do four times on the A string. Go down to the second fret of the A string. So that, that pattern is the same. And then you're going to go down to the C string and play, you're going you're to pause a little bit, and then you're going to play one, first fret of, whew, excuse me, G, C, you're of uh, the C, C string, and then second, and slide from second to fourth. So. so all together, that verse sounds like this. Now we're going to get into the chorus, which is, no, I don't want to fall in love. This girl's only going to break my heart. I don't really do this girl's only going to break my heart. Go ahead and do whatever you feel like doing for that. I didn't really know how to do that. So I just said, no, I don't want to fall in love. And this is, I think, really where my interpretation comes in because I don't know how to play it on the ukulele. I did my best shot. All right. So you're going to do the D chord. 
So, Girl Scout Honor, woo, I was a Girl Scout, and you're just going to take it, and you're going to put it on second fret for all of the D string, right? So, second fret on the G, the C, and the E string, A string open. That's how it's going to sound like. And then you're going to go into your E minor shape again, which we already covered. And this time you're going to do a different strum. Um, this is a triple S drum, I think. Yeah, I think it's a triple S drum. I can put a link in the description below of how Jake Shimmer Bakuro does it. He, uh, If you don't know, you should know who he is if you play the ukulele. He's a world famous ukulele player. He's played for the Queen of England. And uh, I've seen him twice. Ah, and he's on the ukulele. Anyway, he's a cool guy. So I'll have a link below to how to do a triplet strum. So you're going to do D, E minor. So I don't know how to. If you're too lazy to watch another video, you can just try to interpret that. Um, so really, I'm just like, like an L, like an L, L. And just like really loose like this with my pointer finger and my thumb. So it sounds like this. And then um, still holding the E minor shape, you're going to go from this. You're going to do the second string on the, or no, excuse me, I'm sorry. The third string on the E string. So you're going to do third string on, you're going to keep your shape, third string, fourth string on C string, and then the second fret on the A string. And then you're going to do a slide from the third to the fifth string. So literally, you're like this, right? E minor shape, just release the other two fingers and go from the third string up to the fifth string. So... And then back down to the third. It sounds all the way like this. Yay! Chorus done. Alright, so now we got the rest of the verses. So, what a wicked game you played to make me feel this way. And then what a wicked thing to do to, to let me dream of you. Those two verses, um, I put them together because I thought, I thought they sounded the same. And we're also, we're going to do a tap along with it. If you don't want to do the tap, don't do it. But if you listen to the song, there's kind of a percussive um, element going on. So that's why I added it to the song. When I'm tapping, I'm literally just, just doing that. You can do however you feel like. You can do your finger or, or you can do it up here and do your thumb. I do however, whichever way feels most comfortable to you. I have to literally tap it like, knock knock, who's there? Because this this is a nice ukulele. Okay, um, back to this. Enough of my tangents. All right, so we're gonna do four. We're gonna do the fourth fret on the C string and sound like this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play the whole thing and then I'll incorporate the tap. So so it's gonna sound like this. Literally four, four, four times, four, 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 six, four, four. Now you're going to go up to the sixth fret. So six, and then eighth, and then six. So, so all together, the, that verse sounds like this. The tap sounds like this. So that's how I tap it. Next verse is, What a wicked thing to say, you never felt this way. What a wicked thing to do, make me dream of you. Like when he's doing it, he's like getting, it can feel the anticipation, he's getting higher and higher. Um, so it's the same part really. The only thing is a couple notes. That's it. The, the end part's the same. So it sounds like this. 
and go back to your fourth fret on the C string. It's the only difference. So fourth, four, four, fourth, six, four, two. And back up six, 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 eight, six, six. So all together that sound it sounds like this. Boom, with the tap now. And that is the song. And then you, obviously you're gonna go back and play the chorus again, and then you'll end it with, uh, you know, the main riff. And that is Wicked Game by Chris Isaac on the ukulele. I hope you enjoy watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel, watch other videos, like them, share them, you know, spread the word. Caitlin wants to be, uh, Caitlin, I'm speaking of third person, that'd be cool to be a micro-influencer. Hey, YouTube. But uh, if not, I do this for free. I don't get paid a penny for these videos. So, you know, just do it for the love of the ukulele. So anyway, that's my tangent. That's my video. Thank you. Hello. Uh.